Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, quit rescuing, start empowering. You're trying to get your work done. You've got this particularly problematic situation you need to deal with. Of course, you're under a deadline. And every two minutes, your coworker is bugging you, saying, Oh, I'm having so much trouble with this. It's the most miserable project. And you always seem to do this stuff so easily, as she trails off, hoping you will, as you so often do, say, Okay, all right, just leave it here and I'll handle it. Meanwhile, knowing you really shouldn't do their work for them, you have piles of your own to do but it just seems easier and faster to get rid of them by, once again, doing it yourself. Or, your sibling or your mate, your parent, is having a dickens of a time sorting out which HMO provides the best benefits, or which career path is the most suited to them, or which plumber to call. And you really have better things to do than sit there while they moan and groan, and besides, they argue with you as you give them ideas, which really makes you nuts. So you give up and you just say, oh, fine, 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 I'll do it for you. And there you are, saddled with yet another responsibility in an overly responsibility-filled life. So now what? You can't very well dump all your friends and family with a, well, hey, your problem, tough luck, I'm out of here, attitude. But you can't keep doing it all for them either. You can, however, empower them to do it for themselves. Give them support and ideas about how to get to where they want to go, rather than doing it for them. Here's how. First of all, acknowledge the situation and empathize with their feelings about it. For example, gosh, that sounds like a really challenging project, or oh, that is a tough decision to make, or you're having a hard time with this. And then, secondly, put the problem squarely back in their laps. For example... Your coworker says, you always seem to do this stuff so easily, hoping to guilt you into doing it for them. Don't take the bait. Respond with, for example, yes, I do. I really worked at it and practiced to get good at it. You can do that too. Or, your sibling or mate or parent is bemoaning their lack of ability to make the HMO or the career or the plumber decision. Well, Resist doing it for them and empower them with, you know, you made a great decision with X. You can figure this out just like you did with X. Thirdly, become a resource person rather than a do-it person. Empower people by suggesting the resources they can use themselves. Show them the way rather than doing it for them. For example, to your coworker, there's a great manual on X online, or the company will pay for training in Y, etc. To your sibling, your mate, your parent, the HMOs often have a help hotline available, or there are a number of career counselors online. You can actually interview them to see which ones you like. Now, strangely enough, in the end, people will resent you for doing it for them when they are basically capable of learning how to do it for themselves. Serve those you care about and yourself better by showing them the way rather than carrying them down it. Thank you for listening to Up and check out my new book, I Survived COVID-19, What Now? Finding Happiness and Success in a Post-COVID World. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, as well as my website, noelnelson.com or Take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. And until next time, be well and take care.